Hey guys, if you manage an organization that leverages macOS devices and you wanna have 24 by seven vulnerability scanning on those endpoints, stay tuned because in this episode, I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps that you need to take to enroll those devices into Microsoft Defender for active vulnerability scanning. And I'm gonna show you how to automate that process across your entire environment. When it comes to some of the prerequisite steps for getting these devices enrolled into Defender, I like to zoom out and think about this from a macro perspective so you understand how you could potentially scale this over time through automation. So when we think about some of the prerequisites for enrolling these devices into Defender or activating Defender on those devices, it's important to zoom out and think about the automation potential that you can create through other Microsoft services that you likely have today. Whenever you're managing any Apple devices, you wanna go ahead and set up Apple Business Manager, which is Apple's solution here from a corporate standpoint that you can use to procure devices and get them into a management console. With this though, you can create a sync into Microsoft, specifically Microsoft Intune, where actually those devices can be synced over into the Intune portal, and you can actually assign the MDM server to those devices as Intune within ABM or Apple Business Manager. So it's very powerful because you can go straight from procurement into automatic enrollment into MDM, and as we'll see today, you can also then perform the activation of Defender. So you have MDM capabilities, you have EDR capabilities with Defender, as well as this vulnerability scanning, which is the highlight of today's video as well too. As far as those prerequisites goes, that's not what I'm gonna be focusing in on today's video. I did wanna give you that context. I have made other videos showing you how to do that, such as setting up ABM, getting those devices enrolled and everything like that in previous videos. So I'll link that below in the video description. Let's go ahead and dive in though within the Intune Admin Center so I can show you how to set up these policies that will allow you to enroll devices into Defender. Okay guys, so diving into the steps here, I'll link this article. This is applicable to both Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Business. If you have those licensing models, definitely bolt it into Business Premium for all my SMB users out there. But we showed you last week how to enroll Windows devices. Mac OS devices are much more involved than the policies that you saw when we were setting that up. The full list you can see here, and many of them we're gonna set up today as far as the configuration profiles, some of the apps that you need to activate it, as well as the onboarding package. So you can use this, and again, you can reference this, you'll need to really to go through these steps. You don't have to record everything I'm doing here. We list it step by step as we're going through. From a licensing perspective, you can get into the support article, which again, I'll link below as well, which gets into some of the prerequisites for the system requirements for Mac OS devices, which I would take a look at before getting into all of this for your testing as well as the licensing requirements, which again comes with Defender for Business with Microsoft Business Premium here. And then you could bolt on Defender for Endpoint Plan 1, which is included with E3. Defender for Endpoint uh, Plan 2 is included with E5 and Security E5 licensing. And then you have that, you know, kind of that full list there for educational SKUs as well there too. And then the Windows 11 Enterprise E5. Okay, so getting started though, creating these policies, I'm in the Intune Admin Center, I'm gonna go under Devices, Configuration, and then I'm gonna start creating policies. There are a lot that we need to create here, so I'm gonna go a little fast just because you can reference that article, but at a macro layer here with all the profiles that we're creating, really need to have Defender be able to talk to the endpoint, send metrics back, things like that is really what we're doing across these various policies. So the first one we need to set up here is this extension for the Defender service itself. So when we go in here, we're gonna create these naming conventions that again, you may wanna say something like MDE, MDE Mac OS extensions. You can put a description here, just skip over that for the sake of this example. And then we're gonna go and we're going to add settings here. And within here, we're going to search for the extensions And then from here, we're going to select add system extensions in this list. And you can go ahead and exit out of that box once you're done. This is where you to go back to that support article to copy over the system extensions. So I'm gonna click on plus edit instance here. And within this, I'm gonna add those two settings that I've have in the support article. And then I'm gonna add the team identifier here and go ahead and click on save. And I'll click on next. 
Don't need to add any scoping tags. You want to be able to set your assignments here as well. I'm not going to do that for the sake of this video, but we've got this for the allowed system extensions. I'll go ahead and create this policy. Next one we need to create here is a network filter. So we're going to add another policy. We're going to create a profile for Mac OS and in the template name, and in the profile type, we'll select templates, and then we're going to go ahead and do custom here and click create. In this word article, they do give you some suggested naming conventions that you could leverage as well here too. I'm just going to add those in here. And then under the configuration profile name, you could add the same as well here. I'm going to leave this defaulted at the device channel. And then for this configuration profile in the support article, they link out to a GitHub repository where you can start to download these files. So back on that article, if I scroll down to where we're at now, you can click on this uh, GitHub repository link and that'll take you to the file directly. You can click on this GitHub repository link and within here, we're going to use the net filter mobile config one here and you can simply come up to the top and click on download raw file so download this locally it's got a one next to it here because i've already done this then from here you go ahead and upload this file and then when you're done you can click on next again you would want to create your assignments here and then create next one here is for full disk access so again we'll go create new policy we're going to select mac os we're going to select templates. We're going to select custom create. Same naming convention. We're going to pull from the support article here. We're going to leave this at the device channel again. And then back in our support article, we can go back to our repository here. And as a best practice, you may want to just go ahead and download each one of these. I'm not going to revisit this for the sake of time on this video. For this one, though, it is this full disk uh, mobile config. We'll download that. And we'll upload it here. You'll create your assignments again and click create. Next one is for background services. We'll do new policy, Mac OS, templates, custom. Grab the name from the portal there or the support article. We're going to go ahead and name it the same thing. We'll click on next and create your assignments and then click create. I'll pause the video here though because the next couple of steps, notifications, accessibility settings, Bluetooth permissions are all the same. So I'll pause briefly, get those done and then come back. Okay, so the Microsoft auto update one I wanted to cover just because this is how it's gonna auto update the Defender for Endpoint service. On the device, you could choose different channels if you really wanted to. The uh, script that we're gonna pull here is for the current channel. And the only thing I wanted to call out here that you'll notice is if you click on this link, it will take you to this section here which doesn't have what they're talking about. What you wanna do though is go under settings, go under auto update, and click on this first one here. That's the one that you're gonna to want to download here for that device. And again, there's two files here, one for PLIST and the other one here, this is gonna be the one that you're gonna to wanna to download for that one. Back in the portal, we'll do the same thing here that you've been doing, which is selecting Mac OS for the configuration profile. Templates, custom again, create uh, the auto update profile within here, and then we'll attach that file. Add your assignments, create. The next one, couple here, first of which we're gonna do is the antivirus policy here. So you wanna go ahead and click on Mac OS for this guy. And then you'll select Microsoft Defender antivirus here. Click on create and say MDE Mac OS as an example. Go ahead and click on the drop down and select enable. So the default setting here I like to configure that as well. This is optional by default. So pretty much the default standard settings are fine for that. Enable real-time protection. Again, the default setting here is enabled. So we're gonna configure that for both the protection and for the passive mode here. 
These settings I don't like to worry about when we first get this to kicked off here, but you can add some customization to these policies over time. Under network protection, I go ahead and place this into block. If you wanted to start off with the audit, you could do that as well. And then for tamper protection, the enforcement level, also like to set to block. Now you click on next all the way through, add your assignments here. You'll need to search by a specific group name um, as part of that. But again, beyond the scope of this video that I'm showing you here today. So create that profile within here. The next one that you're gonna to wanna to do is click on endpoint detection and response. And we're gonna create a new policy here for Mac OS. And we're just gonna create the base level policy for that. And we're just gonna do MDE onboarding Mac OS. For your configuration settings, we have this as group. And if I really needed to create different profile types or device tags, I could, but this is going to be scoped holistically in this environment to all Mac OS devices. So I'm not gonna change anything there and I'll go ahead and click on save with that one. Next within here, we're gonna go to the app section and we'll go to Mac OS here and we'll click on create. Under the app type, we do have Defender for Endpoint already predefined here, which is nice. Didn't always used to be this way. You could change some of these default textual values if you really wanted to. I like to leave them as is. And then you go ahead and create your assignments here for your devices. Click on Create. And then next here. And then the last one we need to do here is an onboarding package. So we'll go actually to the Defender Admin Center, so security.microsoft.com. And underneath here, we're gonna go under settings at the very bottom of this page. We're gonna click on endpoints and we're gonna scroll down to onboarding and we're going to switch this guy up here to Mac OS. And then you're going to select mobile device management for Intune and select the download onboarding package. So that'll create the zip file here. You can open this up and you can see this. If I open up that file even further, you have two folders that'll populate here, one for Intune, one for Jamf, if you're using that. And then you have your text file here and your Windows Defending Onboarding file as well. From here, we'll go back into the Intune Admin Center. We'll go under Devices, go under Mac OS, click under Configuration. Then here, we'll click on Create do new policy, we're gonna select the templates again and do custom. This first text file here is going to be used for approving third-party extensions such as Microsoft on the device for kernel changes, things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and name this again here up top and then we'll attach that file. This is going to be the KEXT file and then it has this description here. Profile configures your Mac to automatically enable third-party kernel extensions from specified vendors. And the vendors in here are gonna be related to Microsoft. When you're good here, you can click on next. You go to assign this out and then click create. And then the very last one here we're going to be doing is another template, another custom template. And then this is going to be MDE Mac OS onboarding package. And then we'll put that profile name in here. And this one, we're going to upload the Windows Defender ATP onboarding XML file here. And we'll do next. You'll sign that out and then click create. So now that's done guys, you'll have this list of configuration profiles if you go under Mac OS specifically. And again, it's a lot of profiles that we created here. The only one I didn't show you guys was File Vault, which is more of, you know, kind of an Intune configuration that we're doing for configuring File Vault for encryption of the drive. But that's something I can show you guys in a separate video. But effectively here, now we've got it set up for endpoint detection and response. We've got Defender for Antivirus set up. We've got all the custom configuration profiles. Um, in here as well as that setting catalog for those extensions. And so if we go into the devices here and take a look at some of these test devices I have in, you'll be able to take a look at the device configuration. Once you start deploying these, 
will take probably an hour or so to actually configure. For net new device on board, it's pretty slick um, in the sense of being able to get this set up. And then once you do, if you go back to the security admin center here, you can go under the devices section and you'll be able to start to see those devices populate here within this list as well. And that will be where it is actively starting to do some vulnerability scanning. There's nothing additional you have to do from a policy configuration perspective to get that going. But then we have these list of devices here. And if you click on any one of these, as an example, you can see incidents and alerts from the EDR portion. And we can see this exposure score based off of the software or potential security recommendations on the device. You can look at those here for things that need to be done. Some of this might be upgrading the software like the browsers as an example that you can see here. Some of them might be configuring additional settings. And this is what you compare back to Intune and actually deploy these updates to those devices as well. And the inventories here will show you that list of uh, software that's on that device as well too, that you can then have for that 24 by seven active vulnerability scanning. Okay guys, that's everything I had for you today. Definitely comment below with any questions you had on this video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.